in in Privacy Watch, the brain behind SpaceX and Tesla now wants to get inside your brain. Elon Musk's startup Neuralink hopes to one day implant chips in the human brain. Musk unveiled a prototype of the device last month. It's currently being tested in pigs. Goal is to help treat neural disorders. Some say that it could lead to our brains being linked straight up to the internet one day. For more on this, I'm joined by Dan Patterson. He's a senior producer at CNET. Dan, what is going on? Give us some background. How exactly do neural implants like this work? Uh, well, Lana, I, I left my PhD at home, uh, and something tells me the science <laughs> here is pretty crucial. However, th you know what we've seen from Elon Musk is pretty ambitious. It is not the first time we've seen uh, BCIs. These are brain-computer interfaces. Uh, in fact, there's kind of a, an interesting history around uh, these computer and machine interface devices. But what Musk unveiled is this kind of quarter or silver dollar size a device that sits on top of the brain. Uh, he described the process as fairly trivial, opening up the top of the skull and placing this on top of the brain. Uh, it uses this very thin lattice-like um, uh, uh, cables to connect and transmit. Uh, now, we have seen uh, similar devices in the past that are larger, more clunky, but also fairly capable. Um, some Tests in the Department of Defense have shown that under computer simulations, uh, people with similar implants have been able to control uh, flight simulations of um, fighter planes. So the capabilities are pretty tremendous. However, uh, let's not forget that this was a demonstration by Elon Musk, and he loves to look at the future, but often getting there uh, has some challenges. So these brain-computer interface devices are not simple. They're not coming tomorrow. Uh, but they might be how you end up uploading your brain and your memories to the cloud. Very interesting. And I don't know if you've been watching Upload, but it does sound a little bit like taking the current existing brain implants that doctors use to treat patients with uh, Parkinson and epilepsy to a whole exactly. different level. Uh, so why is linking up our brains to computers something that Elon Musk is interested in? Well, Musk does like to uh, tackle really big challenges. Um, but this is also something that was pretty hot, at least in the startup tech community, starting around 2016, 17, and 18. Now, look, artificial intelligence, AI, has gone through what they call AI winters, AI springs, and AI summers, where it kind of becomes trendy, and then we discover it's incredibly complex, and the cycle perpetuates. Uh, we saw something called the, stay with me on this, the simulation hypothesis, the idea that we are all living in a computer simulation. Uh, Musk talked about this pretty openly I remember at the that, conference yeah. in 2017. So it is, to answer your question, Musk is really into this as an idea because he likes to solve big ideas. But he's also into this because Silicon Valley really was hyped on this idea of artificial intelligence as kind of a silver bullet or as they say with industry jargon, a black box. AI seems to be a fancy, cool problem that is just a few years off, uh, but close enough it seems tantalizing, but not quite so close that we have to be accountable for uh, some pretty hyperbolic claims. Yeah, well, Musk does say that this device in the future could allow people to, to restore limb function, cure blindness, but then also even download their memories to robots. What kind of data does Neuralink have to actually back up these claims, or are they just really the dreams of, of somebody who, who is interested in the future and sees possibility around every corner? These are the dreams of somebody who sees uh, possibility in the future and dreams about a lot of big things. Look, uh, if you'd like to learn more about uh, what's called artificial superintelligence, I have a great book for you. It's called Superintelligence, written by Oxford scientist Nick Bostrom, where he talks about the practicality of kind of what Musk is seeking here. What Musk demonstrated was uh, an implant running in a pig. He actually showed three different pigs, uh, one that had the implant removed, he said safely, uh, one that never had it, and one that currently had it. And he showed that this was indeed possible to monitor some of the brain activities. But look, the brain is incredibly complex. It, as soon as we solve the brain problem, let me know, because I, I have lots of things I'd like to figure out. Uh, it's not 
a problem we are going to uploading or downloading your brain is not a problem we are going to solve immediately. Uh, I, I kind of say in jest that this is a problem that is uh, close enough that it seems tantalizing, but far enough away that we don't have to have consequences for this. Uh, there have been scientists and futurists predicting uh, artificial intelligence and brain uploading and downloading for a long time. Again, the book is Super Intelligence by Nick Bostrom, and it will explain in pretty human readable language the practicality of what uh, kind of has been presented in this very science fiction-y type of demonstration. All right, Dan Patterson, thanks for adding to my reading list. Take care. Great to see you, Lana.